Welcome to another bi-weekly news update for all things Decred. I'm your host, Exodus, and I'm happy to report despite the rocky cryptocurrency markets, the Decred project is still building, innovating, and expanding. The outbreak of the coronavirus and the worldwide quarantine that followed has already had a severe impact on the economy, with governments already firing up their printing presses to create more money out of thin air. Can you characterize everything that the Fed has done this past week as essentially flooding the system with money? Yes, exactly. And there's no end to your ability to do that? There is no end to our ability to do that. Your ATM is safe, your banks are safe, there's enough cash in the financial system, and there is an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve. We will do whatever we need to do to make sure that there's enough cash in the banking system. It remains to be seen if people will lose faith in the current monetary system and decide to store their value in digital assets like Decred that cannot be manipulated by a centralized entity. A few community members took to Twitter to voice their thoughts. Marketing lead Dusty Decred said the game is rigged when people realize that they will opt out of the system and choose a deterministic money supply. Decred researcher and analyst Checkmate said, don't look at the price, look at what the hodlers are doing. Accumulate hard, self-sovereign, secure, and immutable digital assets. Swack put out a tweet storm giving his rationale as to why Decred is the only non-Bitcoin crypto asset that deserves consideration as a store of value fiat alternative. He lists a few of Decred's attributes, including the upcoming DEX, Treasury, and built-in governance. The YouTube channel Coin Bureau leased a video with their picks for the top five staking coins in 2020. Decred was included in this list. Decred, with ticker DCR, is perhaps one of the oldest cryptocurrencies on our list and was first launched back in 2016. This is also unique in that it's a hybrid proof-of-stake and proof-of-work blockchain. With this system, proof-of-stake holders verify and authorize transactions once they've been mined by proof-of-work miners. There's also a governance component here as the proof-of-stake voters will approve or reject any proposed rule changes to the Decred network. Well, I really like Decred as a project. They've come a long way and it's constantly innovating. Hybrid consensus, atomic swaps, lightning integration, decentralized exchange and governance. The list goes on. The community published a few different Decred related articles on medium.com. Decent Partners published a large article titled Public Service, Pandemics and Crypto Networks. It goes into details about creating open source broadcasting, narratives for cryptocurrencies, and how the Decred DAO can help bring about a new era of public service publishing thanks to its decentralization and funding platform Politea. A nice bullet point from the article is Decred retains Bitcoin's revolutionary values and evolves its design to create a secure, adaptable, and sustainably funded public benefit network. Decent Partners plans to submit a proposal to Politea in the coming weeks, so be on the lookout for that. A great article titled Theory of Three Pillars in the Cyberpunk Social Contract by Cato was published. The three pillars it details are sound monetary policy, permissionless access, and universal fungibility. He believes the social contract that gives precious metals their value can be applied to digital currencies, saying, with the advent of Bitcoin and more recent implementations like Decred, humans are on the brink of reviving a similar social contract that is custom tailored to the digital realm. Decred marketing lead Dustdorf put out an article titled Crypto Risk Is Not What You Think. He writes, this is a social movement, and when people participate in social movements, they do things independent of or even counter to their personal financial interests. There was also a few different podcasts that were aired. Decred In Depth featured guest Leo Zhang of Iterative Capital, a global financial firm. Iterative Capital provides market making services for Decred as approved by stakeholders on Politea. This interview focused on DCR mining. Here's a peek at it. What are your thoughts on the hybrid consensus um, algorithm in comparison to the other, say, like proof of work or proof of stake? Yeah, so I think pure proof of work uh, has been working pretty well so far. Um, and um, But once it scales to this point, it, it's very obvious that a miner has a uh, dominant influence over the direction of the network, right? Um, so we, we call it the delicate balance of terror when in a network where miners are, are holding, basically holding the network hostage. They can decide whether they, they, uh, they can nuke the network or not, or they just fork away and, and create something or just greatly weaken the existing network. So this is not an ideal uh, situation because, because even though, um, and even though when the miners agree, uh, this network has very strong settlement insurance from uh, machine consensus, but at the same time, it's very poor form of reflecting human consensus. If the if the devs and the miner have a disagreement, the miners, the miners just win. Episode three of the new podcast series, Rough Consensus, was released with the discussion talking about cryptocurrency markets in the long term. The virus is really dark. It's really, you know, it, it's damaging. 
But at the same time, it really is kind of the pin that popped something that was going to happen anyway, right? Once Tesla hit $900, that was the time to be getting out because there's just everything was so overvalued and so unrealistic. It, it, it had to go at some point, right? Peter Schiff's been predicting this for the last 50 years. This is, there's never been a more opportune time in the first world where people in the first world have actually needed a, uh, a self-custodial digital money. Right. Like it's always been just a play thing for the masses. This might be the first time in the first world that there has ever been uh, like a need for a hard cap, self-custodial digital money. The POV Crypto Podcast had Decred analyst Permaval Nino as a guest, which means there was a good amount of discussion about Decred. Here's a preview. Seems to me that Decred is building out, especially with all this on-chain uh, analytics that's extremely robust and, and super impressive that Decred has produced. Decred has produced a product that is extremely ready and able to catch the torch of the fall or of just the, of either Bitcoin or Ethereum dropping the ball when it becomes to being internet money. Like it, if that happens, then Decred has got it. Like it, you, it's ready to go. People don't appreciate having uh, insurance until the place is on, until the house is on fire, basically. That's my point. So I think Decred's biggest issue, and to y'all's point, is bootstrapping liquidity. And I think once Decred, if Decred can accomplish bootstrapping liquidity, I think all bets are, I mean, it, it's fucking on, basically, for Decred. Um, I, I, do you guys agree, or you just like, still think it's like... It's just like, I don't, the, the Decred's big awesome thing is that it's got governance knocked down. Um, but the whole, and it also copies the scarcity uh, value proposition of Bitcoin, but also built into Bitcoin's value proposition is the ungovernableness of the asset. It's it's lack of tinkering. It's lack of people. So you guys, so you guys have this awesome governance system, which is super elegant and yeah. just honest. It's it's it right to me. It rivals its its design rivals the narrative of Satoshi leaving. Like that's, it's that good. There was a successful Binance hosted Ask Me Anything with the Decred Latin America team on March 29th that took place in Binance's Spanish speaking telegram room. Question topics included politea, staking, and dev background. In total, over 150 questions were submitted and the top four question askers were awarded with a bit of DCR. Also involving the Spanish speaking community, there was an event held in Uruguay and region leader Ilian was on a Spanish speaking podcast. DCR Comic put together a guide for people to navigate Matrix. Matrix is what Decred contractors in the community use to communicate. Matrix can of course be tricky to navigate for newcomers, so this guide will surely come in handy if you'd like to join the community chat rooms. I'll leave a link to this guide in the video description. Decred was added to a Perpetual Futures contract that features a basket of privacy coins on the FTX exchange. Looking at Politea, we have three new proposals being discussed and two that have already finished voting. The US Marketing Project Release Coordination for 2020 proposal passed with 74% yes votes and 26% no votes. In total, 12,660 votes were cast, which means there was a voter turnout of 31%. The goal of this proposal is of course to continue to build awareness of Decred and to fund various media publications like the Decred Journal, Decred In Depth Podcast, and other original content generation. The total cost is $177,800 for 2020. The Decred Brazil marketing and events proposal passed with 66% yes votes and 34% no votes. In total, 13,603 votes were cast, which means there was a voter turnout of 34%. The goal of this proposal is to further decentralize marketing efforts by allocating treasury funds to the Brazilian community to facilitate their own marketing strategies and events. The total cost is $108,000 for 2020, but it has been noted that if events are canceled, the money intended for those events will remain in the treasury. The passing of this proposal was even reported on Portuguese website livecoins.com, talking about how Decred stakeholders had decided to invest in Brazil. I did create a video about these two marketing proposals, so make sure to check them out if you'd like to learn more about them. Currently being discussed is the DCR to Paulus Pay app, gift cards, mobile top-ups, and debit card proposal submitted by Ebes. This proposal requests $5,000 to integrate DCR into the Paulus Pay app. This would enable DCR holders to store and exchange their DCR on Paulus Pay and use it to buy things like gift cards and mobile top-ups. There's also a debit card for EU users. There would be a 1% transaction fee when purchasing gift cards and shifting between different coins. Thus far, the top comment says, The costs for integrating Decred in your app are part of what is commonly called capital expenditures. If you work hard enough, you can earn back those expenditures by selling enough gift cards. In other words, you're running a business. Next is the DCR Comic, a visual guide to Decred Season 2 proposal from Pablito and Nashido. 
This proposal requests $16,200 for the creation of 12 new visual explainer comics that focus on the broader problems Decred aims to solve. It also includes social media management. You can view all of their work from Season 1 by going to dcrcomic.org. This proposal has been put on hold due to a comment from the original creator of Stakey, Lustosa. He wrote, I still own the copyright on the ticket drawing and I do not authorize any usage beyond these. Pablito and Nashido say they will form new characters to base the comic series around and then resume the proposal. Third and final proposal is for Decred Daily initiatives from Coin4. This proposal seeks a total budget of $4,800 to fund the daily collection and publishing of news relevant to the Decred project, lasting for six months. This will be done through the Twitter handle Decred Daily, where tweeting has been ongoing for the past month. A website for Decred Daily will also be built by the author should the proposal pass. Coin4 claims this daily news content will help educate newcomers, enlarge the Decred audience, and keep all community members up to date with the Decred ecosystem. Thus far, the top comment says, I personally feel that there is a significant volume of documentation and regular updates to the community, and do not see any need for additional services to be funded by the Treasury. And last but not least, this tweet from Brazilian contributor Michael2XL really captures what the Decred project is all about. A developer submits a proposal for development work to be reviewed and approved by stakeholders. He goes on to complete that work, and then is able to integrate that code and make a consensus change in a clear, timely, and fair manner due to Decred's built-in governance system. As a result, Decred now supports one of, if not the most privacy-preserving and secure decentralized lightweight client implementations in crypto. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any news, and check out Decred.org if you'd like to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.